Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML's 1,400 lithography machines have become the focus of Sino US technological competition. The United States has put pressure on the Netherlands to restrict ASML services to China, which has caused concerns about the development of China's semiconductor industry. ASML faces a difficult choice and may consider moving out of the Netherlands. This series of events reveals the complexity of the global semiconductor industry chain and the importance of the Chinese market. Recently, the semiconductor industry has set off a storm. The US government has begun to put pressure on the Netherlands again. This time their target is ASML, a Dutch company, which is known as ASML. The United States wants to restrict ASML from providing installation and maintenance services for lithography machines to mainland China. Once this happened, the semiconductor circle was blown up. You know, ASML is not an ordinary company. It is the world's top lithography machine manufacturer, and the equipment it produces is the core equipment for chip manufacturing. It is said that semiconductor companies in mainland China have bought about 1,400 lithography machines from ASML. This number is not small, which shows how fast China's semiconductor industry has developed. However, buying the machine is not enough. These high-precision equipment requires regular maintenance and care, just like our cars need regular maintenance. There are many parts in the lithography machine that are easy to wear and need to be replaced frequently. If there is no timely maintenance and replacement, the quality and yield of the produced chips will be affected. The United States is doing this on the surface, targeting ASML, but in fact it is suppressing the entire Chinese semiconductor industry. They want to weaken China's strength in the field of chip manufacturing by restricting ASML services to China, so as to maintain their technological dominance. Faced with pressure from the United States, ASML is in a dilemma. On the one hand, the Chinese market is too important for ASML. China is the world's largest semiconductor consumer market accounting for more than one-third of the global market. Giving up the Chinese market is simply cutting off ASML's own financial resources. ASML's CEO Peter Winink once publicly stated that China is an indispensable part of the global semiconductor industry chain, and giving up the Chinese market will be a huge loss. On the other hand, if ASML really stops providing maintenance services for the lithography machines that have been sold because of pressure from the United States, it will be a self-destructive move. This practice will not only seriously damage ASML's business reputation, but also make customers in other countries doubt ASML. Who knows if they will suffer the same treatment in the future? In the long run, ASML's competitiveness in the market will definitely be greatly reduced. In this case, the attitude of the Dutch government is particularly important. The Dutch government is also in a dilemma. On the one hand, they have to safeguard the interests of their country and maintain technological independence. On the other hand, ASML is one of the economic pillars of the Netherlands and they cannot watch ASML suffer. Faced with this complex situation, the top management of ASML is not easy to deal with. They released a heavy news. If the Dutch government cannot guarantee the company's autonomous decision-making power, especially in import and export trade, ASML will consider moving out of the Netherlands and moving to a place where it can make independent decisions. This move scared the Dutch government. In order to retain ASML, 
The Dutch government even specially formulated a plan called the Beethoven Plan, intending to use huge subsidies to retain ASML. However, it seems that ASML is not very interested in this Beethoven plan. They seem to have made up their minds to seek greater autonomy. This attitude also makes people wonder whether ASML is secretly looking for a new habitat. However, even in the worst case, ASML is really unable to provide maintenance services or replace core components for lithography machines in mainland China, and Chinese semiconductor companies will not sit idly by. After decades of hard work and accumulation, China has established its own industrial system with strong industrial chain resilience. This means that China has the ability and confidence to achieve domestic substitution in the field of lithography machines. In fact, China has concentrated its superior scientific research forces to tackle monopolized technologies, such as lithography machines. This spirit of self-reliance and independent innovation is a powerful driving force for the development of China's science and technology. Moreover, the increasing restrictions imposed by the United States and Western countries have stimulated the fighting spirit and creativity of the Chinese people. In this case, ASML's willingness to move out of the Netherlands can be said to be a wise move. If it continues to stay in the Netherlands and is led by the United States, ASML is likely to be forced to withdraw from the Chinese market in the next five to eight years. This is undoubtedly a huge loss for ASML. This game around ASML is not only about the fate of a company, but also a microcosm of the global semiconductor industry landscape. It reflects the complex relationship between technological hegemony, economic interests, and national strategy. For China, this is both a challenge and an opportunity. How to maintain stability in this game and continue to promote technological innovation will be an important issue facing China's semiconductor industry. At the same time, this incident has also sounded the alarm for other countries and companies. In today's globalized world, over-reliance on a single market or technology source may bring huge risks. How to find a balance between international cooperation and independent innovation will be a question that every country and company needs to think deeply about. In general, ASML's 1,400 lithography machines are not just a bunch of sophisticated machines and equipment, but also important chess pieces that affect the nerves of the global semiconductor industry. Their fate will largely affect the direction of the future global technology landscape. Whether it is ASML, Chinese companies, or other countries, they all need to act cautiously in this game and seek a win-win solution. What do you think of this? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area for discussion.